Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to give a, a reminder to any of you in the um, cooler climate on um, the loquat, a very uh, important tropical fruit tree to be growing down here in the cooler parts of Australia for multiple reasons. Even if you don't like fruit or you don't eat fruit or whatever, they're a very attractive tree, right? This is uh, one that I just put in the ground about a month ago, and it's already grown a whole foot, right? It's grown 30 centimeters in the month of November. Can you believe it? And it's in the ground. It was in that. It was in one of those pots. And uh, these ones here will go in the ground too, at some point. But. Uh, Look at that. Oh, and the second advantage of um, having loquat is you can grow it yourself from seed. You don't need to go to the nursery. All you need is to find someone with a loquat tree. Surely there's one in your neighborhood in spring. Look around <clears throat> during um, the month of October and November and um, ask your, um, your um, buddy growing the the fruit or if it's sticking out over the fence over the fence line on public um, space you're permitted to take the fruit right if it's hanging over the fence like look at that guy up there that's the neighbor he's got loquats too now if one of his branches was hanging over on my side over here I'm, uh, I'm permitted to pick if it's hanging on my side the same applies on the street or you can ask even better right so you take the the seed which costs nothing and you can plant it guys in your own garden and if you want to know how successful you'll be by doing that check this out these are seedlings grown from volunteer seeds that we spit out when we eat the fruit these popped up on their own. They come up every year. That one there and this one here. These are volunteers. See the seeds in the ground? They're everywhere. Everywhere you look, everywhere you look, close by to the loquat tree, there are seeds that we have spat out of our own mouths when we are eating the fruit right all these seeds are potential trees guys free free plants we step on them and walk on them <laughs> it doesn't get any easier than that and that's how these loquats came to be i did not purchase these plants they're all from seed so, going back to what I was saying about the loquat being an attractive tree even if you don't eat the fruit and I think you will eat it once you taste it um, tree ripened. The other advantage of a loquat tree is um, they're hardy. They take the cold like champions. These are not sooks they put sooks to shame shooks like sooks like the longan bitterly shameful tree takes five to six years to get established here in melbourne like this one here it's almost six years old and now finally after six years has it lost that um that ugly look that tearful oh i don't want to be here look right it's, it's taken six years Whereas this guy is only three years or four years and he's still sooking. The loquat never sooks. Even from the first year when you plant it. What, what, a, what a champion. And he can take the cold. He can take temperatures down to, well, temperatures that we never have here. Down to minus five. Minus five. Can you believe it? Well, we'll never have minus five in, in Melbourne, that's for sure. And finally guys here's another one I just planted recently but this one here was not from the pot 
this is a transplant from the ground. I ripped this one out where it was planted. Sorry, where it was a volunteer. I didn't plant it. It was a volunteer. I ripped it out forcefully and I put it into this new hole here. That's why it's limping. It's limping because um, you're meant to, re to remove some of the leaves when you do a, trans a shock transplant like that, but I didn't. I just removed the tips, the growing tips, right? Where are we? Here. I removed the growing tips. These tips here. So I could take a, a breather during the transplant. And I left the one in the middle. See that one there? And it's already growing. And I left this one. So, now with all the rain we've been having in November, during um, um, the transplant, look at this. It's sitting in a pool of water. It's been there for a whole week. A whole week it's been like that. And guess what? It's going to survive. It's not going to get root rot. It's not going to die, guys. This tree will survive sitting in water for a whole week. Can you believe it? Very, very few other trees can do that. Not even citrus, which is a very, very hardy tree. I don't think it would survive a week underwater. But the loquat will. Okay, so that's why I'm reminding you to go with loquat as your first choice in a tropical fruit garden in the cooler climate. And there's one other reason, and that's the reason why I planted this one here. They make for wonderful um, um, shade trees. Well, that takes time, right? You're looking at about six to eight years before this tree here becomes as tall as that one. So eventually, this will shade out a lot of this uh, area here. And the reason I put it there was because I wanted this sukia, this Pinkerton avocado, to have some shade if it survives, right? Um, avocados don't like full sun in um, the first three-ish years. And they don't like that, 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 that don't like that either. They don't like sitting in water and they don't like direct hot sun when the leaves are tender, young and tender, like these. There's a lot of things avocado doesn't like and I don't like them back. But I love loquat. Oh man, what a champion compared to the avocado. So guys, that's the video. Again, I'm reminding you to plant loquat. I've got so many of them, they're all volunteers. Hang on, I'll show you something else. Up here, where that volunteer came from. The one that's sitting in water. He was here in the circle. I ripped him out, like this one. See this one? I never planted this one. This is a volunteer too. Right? So, what I did with that one, I grabbed it from here, like this, and I ripped it out. That's why it freaked out in its new location. But guys, that's how tough these are. That's how tough the loquat is. You can slap it around. You can do anything to it. As long as it gets water, right? So, and here's another one. Another volunteer. They come up on their own. I never planted this tree either. I can just rip it out and put it where I want it. Very attractive. It's right next to the Tamarillo. Which is not a good place for it because Loquat grows very tall. Much taller than, than this. So I think you get the idea now, right? Why I'm so excited. Please, guys, do yourself a favor and look for loquat trees in your neighborhood and um, try to acquire the fruit so you can get the seed. Or if you can't, if you absolutely can't, 
then order a tree from Daly's or from your local big box store. Doesn't matter if it's a, a seedling or a grafted. Grafted is better, but a seedling will do. These are all seedlings and they all fruit within three years. All right, guys. Catch us all later. If you like the video, please like. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you from the next video. Wow, look at this. Look how beautiful they are. So attractive. Huh? Doesn't it look like I'm in Hawaii? Or some other tropical destination? Yeah, because of the big attractive leaves. Where are you going to get leaves this big? They're 15 inches long. Huh? Look at that. Look at this. Amazing. Stunning. Alright guys. Over and out.